Elmer's Birthday by David McKee Elmer, the patchwork elephant, was walking a morning walk. He said, Good morning, to a group of elephants and kept walking. Once he'd gone, an elephant said, Tomorrow is Elmer's birthday. For a joke, let's act as if we've forgotten it. Nobody wish him happy birthday. At the end of the afternoon, we'll bring out a cake and celebrate. We'll have to warn his family and friends, or it won't work. I'm not sure if it's a good trick, said Bird. But if there's cake, I'll tell the birds. The elephants chuckled and hurried off in different directions to see that nobody said happy birthday. When Lion was told, he said, funny kind of joke. Tiger said, for Elmer's birthday, but please no buts, said the elephants. Just do it. And they hurried off, afraid that Elmer might appear. Cousin Wilbur was with Grandpa Eldo when they were told the plan. You want to do that for Elmer's birthday? said Eldo. But... No buts, please, said the elephant. Just do it. Here comes Elmer. I'm off. Elmer was nearby when the hippos and crocodiles were told. A trick and a cake, said Crocodile. Would be, but... Shush, said the elephant in a whisper, or Elmer will hear. And no buts, just do it. Elmer had just left Rose, Super L, and Aunt Zelda when the messenger came. Rose didn't think it was a very nice trick. Aunt Zelda said that she thought every day was bath day. Rose explained that she was a bit deaf, but that did tell her. Super L said, but... Please no buts. The elephant cut in as he hurried away. Just do it. Any trick with cake after is a good trick said a monkey. But, said giraffe. No buts, said an elephant. Join in. It'll be a laugh. Snake just chuckled. The next day, Elmer went for his usual walk. He passed some elephants who said, Good morning, Elmer, and then snickered. He met lion and tiger who said, Good morning, Elmer and didn't snicker, but did seem embarrassed. Hmm, said Elmer. He stopped and chatted with Wilbur, who was just like always. Some birds flew by and called out, Good morning, Wilbur! Good morning, Elmer! and flew away giggling. Strange, said Elmer. Very said Wilbur. All day, similar things happened. Animals changed direction to avoid Elmer or hurried past with a quiet hello. At the end of the afternoon, Elmer suddenly found his way blocked by family and friends. An elephant said, Elmer, aren't you upset? Nobody has said happy birthday. But, said Elmer, it's not my birthday. We tried to tell them, said Tiger, Eldo, Crocodile, Super L, and Giraffe. But they wanted to play a joke. And they promised cake, said the monkeys. Cake, said an elephant. Cake? Who ever heard of elephants baking a cake? That's a real joke. With that, the elephants brought out a huge cake. 
There was silence, and then they all burst out laughing. Not bad, elephants, said Elmer. It wasn't a brilliant trick. It isn't my birthday, but the cake is a winner. I hope you enjoyed today's story. If you like the book, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button below. As always, thank you for reading with me and I'll see you at our next story time.